Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Porky here. You know, don't you? You know, because that's why you've tuned in. Today, I'm joined by Mickey Theo from Essex. How's it going, Mick? You all right? All good, thank you, mate. Yeah, lovely. Good. Good. All good stuff, isn't it? What have you been up to? Just the usual rush, really, you know. Um, usual morning, you know. Do what we do. Yeah. Uh, done a bit of office work, done a few emails, you know, done a few bits and pieces, basically. Right. Yeah. A lot of going, a lot of going on in boxing at the moment, Mick. Uh, what did you think to the Panorama programme the other night? In what way? What do I think? Do you think that uh, it's we didn't didn't really tell us anything that they haven't been saying it newspapers for the last few years? And th th I mean, pff, this is how I look at it. I'll give my opinion. You tell me what you think. We've got a man here with no criminal record, and they've done a program like that on him, but he's got no criminal record. If that were me, I wouldn't like that. And because only a few years ago. I were on bail, never charged. We were on bail for well over a year and accused of money laundering. Right? This is 2010 when I lived in Oakley. So mm. it's not nice, but do you feel that they should either just go get him, charge him and move on or just stop with mudslinging? I mean, I'm not going to come out and defend him because there's no smoke without fire, is there? But the, the guy's got no criminal record, so... I kind of look at it and think. I mean, oh, you, you you haven't mentioned any names yet. I mean, there's Panorama, there's Panorama. What are we talking oh, about? The, the Daniel Kinnahan, the Daniel Kinnahan okay. thing. They're saying right. that he's involved in drugs, money laundering, guns, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Murder. Yeah, there's been a lot in the, on the internet over the over the years regarding this this story. You know that they've allegedly making up. I don't know. You know, and like you say. A man that's got no previous convictions and hasn't been charged for anyone that's squeaky clean. Yeah, I mean, they're making a big issue out of it, you know, and, and, and they're building a big issue about it. If there's a problem, like you say, um, like you just said, you've had something, someone's basically blaming you, yeah, that you've done something or money laundering, I think you mentioned to me. Yeah. And it's, it's hanging over you for a year. Yeah, Nine, 19, 19 months it were actually. All right, even longer, you know. Um, so you know, a year and a half, and pending, you know what I mean? And that's on your head all the time, you know. So can you imagine how he feels, you know? Someone that's squeaky clean, no convictions, um, and innocent. And these people that can just go into your bank accounts and look at every transaction. Uh, I mean, I remember being interviewed and they're saying to me, what's this here? And they, they were reading stuff out. £12.95, uh, KFC. And I thought, well, that's a bargain bucket. What's this here? Night trainers, £132. Night trainers. And I'm like, sat there thinking. And they went through everything on my on, on my cards and stuff like that. What, what you're spending. And, you know, so God knows what they're doing through with them, but... Why put a program out like that if the guy's not even being charged? He's not even on police bail, pending a, 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 a verdict to see if he's going to be charged. So my sympathy don't go out to them, but I don't think they should be doing programs like that unless the man's been charged because we have to do it by the letter of the law. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, of course. So. And that's, that, that's a big say there. Um, if someone's done something, go and arrest him then, if you believe he's done something. But they're saying he's squeaky clean. They're making, they're making statements as they go along. The guy, Daniel Kinnan, is squeaky clean and doesn't have has never been arrested in his life. Yeah? They're saying these about... I mean, they're saying bad things about him, that he's allegedly behind things, yeah? But where's the proof? And then the next minute they're saying, well, you know, he's squeaky clean. He's got, he has got doesn't have a criminal record. So what are they talking about, you know? They're sort of hitting both sides of the fence. One minute they're saying, assuming he's doing things, and next thing he's saying, well, he's squeaky clean. Well, make your minds up, you know what I mean? Well, what about uh, he's saying he's a family man? Why don't he go back to Ireland and say, well, I'll go spit, I'll come back to Ireland yeah. and speak to you all? He could do that, couldn't he? Of course he could. I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's the decision what he wants to make at the end of the day, isn't it? You know, he's, he's his own man. And um, 
and I'm sure he will, um, and prove everyone wrong. You know, I believe. Two seconds, Mick. I think I've got a delivery. Two seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm just filming, mate. I'll speak to you in a bit, yeah? Sorry about that, mate. But yeah, I, right. I, just, I just feel that uh, it is the onus on him to go back to Ireland, because, or is it on them to fetch him back to do an interview? I don't know, but why, I, can't they fetch him back from well, Dubai? Put this well, to bed. Good. Russ, that's a good point you just said there, you know. What do they want to do, you know? What's in their minds? Uh, yeah. What, you know, what does he do? It's all right them putting all these programmes out and, and accusing people of doing things, yeah? yeah? But you need to you need the proof, you need the evidence, yeah? Now, if they've got proof and evidence, I understand, okay? Well, take the court and prove him. He's guilty, yeah? I'm sure he's got his side of his... Uh, alibis to their their say so's you know so um but you know there's 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 it's what he, they say and you know they are the law they are the government and it, you know it's what they want to do at the end of the day you know but yeah. you know it's a good point um if he went back and said hey about what are you talking about i'm here i'm here to show you to prove to you i'm not you know that'd be a good point but we don't know how he's thinking. We don't know what's in his mind. You know, they've, they've put so much pressure on him, what I've seen over the internet, you know. And, and, you know, it's, it's not nice to put that on, on, on a person. If, he's got, if they believe he's, he's done things, yeah, well, what, what's the normal thing to do? Go and arrest someone, isn't it? Hmm. You know, like you say, he's not on bail. There's no charge. There's nothing... Um, written in black and white, plastered everywhere. He done things, is it? And we're coming for you to the public. Anyway, I've never seen anything written like that. Mm. No, it's not good, mate. Is it? It's not. Good. You don't see it in the papers. If you just see this man, don't go no, no near near him and all that. Yeah. Why? He hasn't done nothing. He hasn't been convicted of nothing. They can't put that, can they? They can't say he's a dangerous man. He's this. He's that. Can they? Physically in writing because he sued the asses of them. So why isn't he? Suing, he should be suing the BBC now, then, shouldn't he? I think he should sue the lot. Honestly, yeah, a man that's never done anything and never been convicted or charged with anything, you know, and they're trying to wrap the blame on him, you know, which is wrong. But I'm not the law, am I? Nor are you. So no. uh, we're speaking on how we feel about things. Yeah. yeah. All right then. Okay, moving on then. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders Canelo does it happen or in May or will Billy's career peter out to nothing well they're saying it's 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 happening aren't they you know you're saying does it happen well they're saying it's happening or are we, are we just reading bollocks every day <laughs> um, and where's this coming from Eddie Hearn you know yeah. The posters are done. Looks like the posters are done. And um, I don't know. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? In, in the pandemic we're in. Um, are they allowing boxing to happen still? No, they're not, are they? No. At the moment. So, you know, that answers your question. And and, and if most shops, that non-essential shops, that cannot get back till, what well, they're saying, April, March, April, yeah. And then the only saying to that is to say so. Then that that date comes, and then what? They shut them for another three, four months. So that's going to push dates further, isn't it? So hence, is it going to happen? We don't know until we go back to how it was when we started getting boxing back together. I believe. Yeah, I mean, looking at it for for getting out of the country at the moment, it's a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Well, getting out of the country, getting in the country. I mean, whoever comes in from whatever country, now they're sticking them in hotels for 10, 10 days, two weeks, 14 days, whatever. Well, I met them pay for it. I think the government's going to pay for it, I believe. I don't know. So... Well, they can't well, make people pay. Listen, a lot of people that don't have a lot of money, they come back skinned, don't they? So, you know, um, 
And how are they going to pay for it? Well, they should they shouldn't pay for it if they if they want to put them and isolate them and not let them do it in their own free will at home and want to stick them in hotels to make sure they do isolate. I understand where the government coming from in respect of spreading the virus. Yeah, um, it's, maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, but then you know you're coming from abroad, all your clothes are dirty, all this and that. You know, um, unless they're going to do the laundry as well for them and and and, and look after them. You know, I don't know. It's a hard sort of shout out there, isn't it? They gave him a council house in Doncaster when they come over. Did they? Yeah, they gave him a council house. The Renault Scenic Seven Seater interpreter. Job lot, mate. All right. Now, what I was going to ask you, when I go to Bulgaria next month for my teeth done, I've been told I've got to pay 149 quid for a test before I go there uh, at a private place. And yet they post it to you. And you just swab it, and then you take it to a place in Rotherham, and they mm. they test it and give you a result next day on your phone. And you need that mm. to get out of country if it's negative. And I've got to do the same when I come back. But I've been told that if I come back from Bulgaria, I've got to I've got to go in an hotel if I've been near anybody who's got it on plane or something, mm. and and pay for it. So there's a lot of misinformation out there, isn't there? Do you think? Oh, definitely. We we don't know the ins and outs, do we, really? But um, you don't know till you go there, and then what you're going to get hit with, not Phew. just this end, but the other end. So They're dishing £800 fines out, aren't they? You know what they're doing? There's a number, isn't there, that you ring up to grasp people who are having parties, and the, it's a cash payment. So people... They're getting people to do to be the police, aren't they? You know, people in the, in the areas, you know, in your villages. Oh! Hook is having a party. There's about 15 people there. Let's get up, blower. 15 people, say, for instance, getting 800 quid fine. What's that? 12 yeah. grand. And they'll give some grass 500 or whatever it is. Yeah. Why Why? Why is this? Is this what, what, what is turning into this country now? It was 200 quid. Now it's 800 quid. Nobody dare leave house now to walk the dog in case they get fined. It's a joke. Listen, in, in London, mate, they're hitting people with 10 grand fines. If the, if the business are not shot when they should be. Yeah, well, you know? people have got loads of money down there, haven't they? But it's a joke, isn't it? Ten grand fine, four grand fine, two grand fines. It's a yeah. joke. Ridiculous. Yeah, it, but it's, it's not going to end, is it? But it looks I mean, what about, what about that guy that's in North London, Wood Green, who had that gym and he said, I'm open, everyone come. How many fines did he get hit with? The Greek guy. I don't know how many. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck, thousands. Thousands of pounds. Yeah. Did he pay them? I don't know. Did they take the court? I don't know, you know, but it's just uh, it's one of them things, isn't it? You can't do days for fines, you know, now, mate. You used to be able to do days for your fines, you know, back in the day. You can't do it now. They might what do you mean do it. days for fines? What do you mean? Community service? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, years ago, I had like, uh, when I got sentenced, years ago, I got a big sentence. And I said, oh, right, days for fines, got you. In the, in I the sent, nick, to, got you. sent to barrister, I said, here, listen, while I'm here, if I'm doing all this shovel... Knock them fines off. Can you squash that 940 quid uh, driving offence? As he went, yeah, and they gave me an extra 28 days, which you obviously you serve half of that, don't you? Well, it was two-thirds then. But, yeah. uh, Still a bit strong, isn't it? Well, well, you know, you're about that, speed. That, that it? should be that should be one day concurrent, shouldn't it? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Try to tell that to a judge. Or try and tell that to a normal person that's ever left prison, eh? <laughs> but uh, all right then. Uh, so but, we've listen, come... it's like they're, 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 they're struggling in this pandemic, isn't it? They can't go out, and it's like they probably think they're in prison, don't they? Hey, I tell you what, mate, somebody rung me up with an artist. He says, How did you do all that porridge, Porky? I said, Why? He said, I'm, I'm on tablets. I says, Why? You're at home with your missus. Mm. I said, When I were in jail, all I ever wanted, and Peter Fury will back this up, and he, we always laugh about this. We always used to say, Do you know when you're in there, all you want is a cup of tea with your missus at home? <laughs> then when you get home, you want to be out with your mates. <laughs> He said, well, you yeah. know, what are you doing? He goes, I'm having a cup of tea with a missus. I said, what's depressing about that? He says, I've had 10 months of it now. He said, let yeah. me out! <laughs> yeah. Funny. So, but uh, I think there's a lot of people struggling now with mental health. We're going to get that all the time now, aren't we? Mental health, this, mental health, that. People are going to work yeah. to their advantage. 
Mm. But uh, I'm a firm believer. I don't believe in all that mental health crap. I think everybody's got some sort of mental illness inside them. I think, listen, I think um, a lot of people are probably depressed about the situation, about being locked in, not going out, you know. People that like going out to clubs and pubs and all that, probably it's probably hitting them, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Yeah, well, I've never been a nightclub with me. I'm 50 year old, mate. Them days are gone, dancing to Rick Ashley with my tie on. You know? <laughs> Rick Ashley, well. Do you remember that? <laughs> Never gonna give you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate! Oh, yeah. Rick Ashley, he was all right. Edit, I liked his, I liked his music. Edit that out, Cameron, please. I'm only joking. Uh, so, reverse we... edit. <laughs> uh, Pay per view. They're saying that if Joshua Fury happens, it's going to be forty pound with stack card. Do you think that's worth it, mate? Is it? Fuck. Nah. No way. Um, well, listen, the money that they, that they want to give them for what they're doing, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's a big purse, isn't it? Um, and maybe that's the only way, the way they're going to get, gain that money is by hitting people with 40 quid. Listen, watch it the next day. You get you watch it for nothing, didn't you, on YouTube. So if yeah. you can bear, bear 24 hours or 12 hours, watch it on YouTube for nothing, isn't it? Mm. Eddie's going to like that, isn't he? What do you think about... Uh... The boxing social site, they've got a video up there with Carl Frampton, I think, getting weighed in with no underpants on. 3.8 million views, 250, uh, sorry, 350 comments. Or two, sorry, hang on a minute, I've got it wrote down here, two seconds. My memory's going. You think on Carl Frampton? Carl, a, hang on a second, mate. There's a, there's a video on boxing social. And I've had my tech guy and another guy go through all of them. 3.8 million views, 365, 265 comments. We've got one, 27,351 comments. That's as of yesterday. So how can it be 3.8 million views, but only less comments than we've got? And we've got 27,000. So when he showed me how to do it, actually... He's cheating on a massive scale. Now, tell you, tell you, my friend, he, he's a banker and they deal with some of the best tech guys in the world. He told me about this two years ago and I said, nah, they haven't got time to mess about with stuff like that because I know how much time I have when, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm doing this. Do you feel that people like that have been cheating to put themselves in the mix to get sponsors, but now that they've been caught out, they won't come out and explain themselves? Well, do you think that's right? Are they doing it what? to impress people like Eddie Earn and to get access costs? As far as I'm concerned, that's the business that we're in now. And this channel is going to be soon, going to be a business very soon. Now, do you feel that it's wrong of these people to do that? Because they're all at it, Coogan, Boxing Social, all of them. They've all been caught now, but they're not coming out and explaining themselves about how they're getting millions of views and hardly any comments when they're getting the same amount of comments on videos with 20,000, but they're getting these millions on some of their best videos, but they've been cheating. Do you feel that that's right? They should come out and explain it? Yeah, but I mean, the, the, there must be, a, when you say they're cheating, okay, and they're, they're, they're basically the public figures up, yeah? So they get paid because of the figures, yeah? Yeah. Um, it can't, um, YouTube, the, their organisation, with the computers and the know-how, what they're doing, suss all this out. Are they correct? Are, are they, uh, you know, original viewers they, they're getting? Yeah. There must be a way of um, sourcing the real from the non-real. Well, let me just point this out to the viewers. Ring Magazine last month did 29,800 Ring Magazine. So that's 29,800. Boxing News, they do very similar. That's every week. So we're saying there's 30,000 real hardcore boxing fans, 30,000, yeah? These people are hitting millions. Now, if you go and look at Logan Paul, Jake Paul, when they do millions of views, go and look how many comments they have. You see where I'm coming I mean, from? Yeah. Now, when you're doing this, when you're cheating, it's easy to pump the views up. 
But you can't just go out and be writing comments all day, can you, to pump it up to viewers because you'll be there for months. So yeah. these people have been caught out now. And do you feel that they need flushing out of boxing? Because it's like fraudulent behaviour, isn't it? Well, that's all it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, they can't do it on their own. They need to do something, uh, you know, so. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <sighs> the Dave Caldwell sermon. Every single day we have a Dave Caldwell sermon. You know who he is, don't you? The little Indian guy with bald yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, these people came out. He came out on a YouTube channel last night, 40 minute. The Dave Caldwell sermon. Not once did he mention the MTK Panorama program. <laughs> IFL have not mentioned it. Behind, oh, they did bring a video out with Ray Winston, which I thought was very good. Good interview. IFL did mention MTK, though. They've not mentioned behind the gloves. Oh, all these sporting icons. Hat man. Fight hype seconds out. None of these people have mentioned this MTK thing. We've not had a Tony Bell, you. Ben Davidson, Johnny Nelson, Spencer Fearon, all across the board, nobody has said a dicky bird about the MTK panorama thing, which is the biggest news to hit boxing in the last three years. Why do you think that is? Maybe they don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Maybe they feel that they don't want to Listen. put themselves in yeah. a situation where they say something. Listen, at the end of the day, like I said before, you know, like the, the Forries are saying that they're squeaky clean or Daniel's squeaky clean. Well, if you're squeaky clean, leave him alone. Stop accusing him of saying he ain't done, you know? I've arrested arrest him or move on because it's getting boring. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, it's all right, people are assuming things, but listen, you need the evidence to, to, to find someone guilty. And if you're squeaky clean, it's like assuming things, but, you know, prove it, you know what I mean? Um, I and mean, that's what I've got to say, you know. I should leave the guy alone at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, be squeaky fine. clean, and they've got nothing on him. Leave him alone, stop broadcasting all this rubbish at the end of the day, you know, or do something about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Two ways. Terry Harper and Natasha Jonas got voted Ring Magazine Fight at Year, All right? If you look in Ring Magazine this week, I'm assuming that's for the women, but. Sky and Matchroom say it doesn't warrant a rematch. Now, we both said on, on this channel that we thought it was a really good fight, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, and great fight. We've seen a lot of fights that are a lot worse get rematches. So I just wondered why Matchroom, oh. Eddie Hearn, Sky, Adam Smith, Ed Robinson, I know you're watching, Ed, why can't you give Natasha Jonas a rematch? Because everybody thought she won. Ring Magazine thought it was Female Fight of the Year. So why why is there no rematch on the horizon, Steffi Ball? Why, what, what's going on there? I mean, everybody mm. tuned into it. It's obviously a headline fight on Sky. It's not a pay-per-view, mm. but it's an headline on Sky or maybe one below a chief support on a pay-per-view. So I can't understand why they can't... Give them girls a rematch. Let them, let them get it. I don't know. There's obviously something behind it, isn't it? Maybe Terry Harper don't want it because she had some fist, or maybe there's, yeah. a, maybe there's a situation with money. Listen, someone's protecting their boxer at the end of the day, mate. <clears throat> what it's all the, about. That's the name of the game, isn't it? Hit and not get hit. Exactly. Uh, How's your training going, Miggy? You still train every day? We train this morning? I'll tell you, last time we've done a video, I don't train anymore. I'll give it up. You give it up? Give it up. What would I train for? You People don't help. want to come out. Yeah. Drive right. yourself mad. All right. Uh, hmm. Who's your top five fighters, mate, from 70s and 80s across the weight divisions? You always get that number five, didn't you? <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, top five. I don't know. Um, since the what, 70s and 80s? Since 1970 up to 1985, 15-year, Mick, who's your top five? Or 75 till 85, sorry. Well. Do you want me to give you my top five, Mick, first, and then you might help you out a bit, yeah? Go on, then. Well, I'll have Ali at number one. Yeah, that was, say, Ali straight away anyway, then Tyson but, uh, Mike Tyson. 
Mike Tyson won up to 85, what he was after yes, he was. He was up to 85. Yeah, but he didn't win titles till 86, did he? Oh, right. What a title win, did you mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You said well, you said best boxer. Okay, then. Well, up to, up to 1985, Mike Tyson not really beat I anybody. I think he won it in 85, didn't he, Mike? He won 80, his first title? 86. 86, November 20. 86, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Well, I've got Ali, Roberto Duran. Yeah. Ray Leonard. Uh... Then it gets a bit murky, doesn't it? I'm going to go Alexis Arguello. And Aaron Never heard of him. Alexis <laughs> Arguello and Aaron Pryor. I, I think I like them too. I like them too. Yeah. And Larry Holmes. Do you know, back in the day, I just, I just my, my focus was on heavy, heavyweights all the time. I've never really... Uh, okay, Roberto Duran was there. And um, what's his name that uh, promotes over in America now? Um, the, the Mexican... What's his name? Canelo. Uh, not Canelo. No, he was he was uh, behind Julio, Canelo. Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez. Not Chavez. Uh, the other one that promotes Canelo. Canelo used to promote him. A Mexican. Golden, Bo Golden, Golden Boy. Golden Boy. Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Oscar De La Hoya. He was he was good in his day, wasn't he? Would you put him in your top ten from that era? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got to, he's got to be one of them. Yeah. No, he never turned pro though, did he? Till ninety two, ninety three. I can't. I don't know the dates. <laughs> mate, you know, no good, idea of the dates, mate. You know, good with remember, dates, are you, mate? I just remember him as a good fighter. Yeah. You know? Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, yeah. He's a good fighter. Shane, right? that Shane guy was good as well, wasn't he? That Shane Mor Morsley. Shane Mosley, yeah. He Oscar, was a great fighter. Did you know Oscar De La Hoya were in Olympics in '92 in Barcelona? And Robin Reed were in Olympics, but they both won medals, didn't they? Robin got a got a bronze and mm. Oscar Oscar got a goal a gold and uh, Robin named his kid after Oscar. Do you know that? Oh right, no, I didn't know that. But Robin, I like Robin as a fighter back in the day. Yeah, I used to watch him all the time. Yeah, a bit of a fan of his back in the day. Yeah, he's a good lad, Robin. Yeah. Nice kid. Nice kid. How old is he now then? Robin's he's, he's, I think it's, it's his birthday any day now. I think it's his birthday in the next couple of weeks. Uh he'll oh, okay. He's the same year as me at school, Robin Reed, so he'll be 50 in a few weeks. Wow. Okay. 50 in a few weeks, Robin, yeah. Anytime Still now. training? Still trains every day, yeah. He's still got his six-pack. Totally in love with himself. <laughs> as always. As always. As always, yeah. He's still... Uh, I used to mess the back of his head, didn't he, before getting in the ring. He straightens, he straightens it out, then he gels it every morning. So what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, you couldn't wish, wish to me a nicer kid. Listen, yeah. you know, world champion boxers are nice people 99% of the time. Mm. Very nice, very nice man. Same as Clinton, Carl Froch. Nice people. Yeah. But uh, I would have liked to have seen Robin get his rematch with Carl Zaggy because it was a split decision. He had a point took off him in eighth round, which he shouldn't have done. But I would have liked to have seen him uh, get a rematch against Joe Calzaghi because he gave Mario Calzaghi was a Calzaghi was a great fighter as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He, he was gave, season. Cal Zaghi gave Mario Vate a rematch, but he wouldn't give Robin Reed one. But he knocked Vate out in one round. I gave him a rematch. Mm. He didn't give Robin Reed one because he knew that it was an hard fight because his style yeah. were, were all made for Robin. But two great fighters there, and Joe Calzaghi done great, but. For my opinion, he protected his own too much. Yeah. yeah. But it is what it is. Who do you think's the best fighter in world boxing at the moment, mate? World boxing. Um... <clears throat> I think Terence Crawford, uh, great fighter, or Canelo, one of them two. Yeah. Terence cool for an amazing fire. Yeah, I think I'd go for Canelo, me, for mainly because he started out as a welterweight, and last year he iced uh, a light heavyweight. So I have to get. Yeah, but uh, he was at the end of his show when he was that Russian guy, whatever his name was. Yeah, we're doing well though until he got stopped. Yeah, but he's he's come to the end of his um, um, boxing career, I think. Terence Crawford's not exactly gone through the weights though, has it? Like. Canelo has. 
all right, if you put Terence Crawford in the ring with Canelo now, today, don't worry about the weights, who's going to win? I think Canelo just walked straight through him, doesn't he? Oh, what weight? You mean if he fought at a weight? Say as what? they are, no, as they are now. Canelo would just, would just run over him, wouldn't he? It would be, be a hard match. You, like, you rate Crawford, to, uh, Mickey, yeah? Listen, he's great, he's a great fighter. All right, then. They're oh, both far. Listen, they're both far. They're both great fighters, but um, yeah, he'd have a hard time against him. <clears throat> so anyway, you was talking about this Billy Joe Saunders fight with uh, yeah. Um, so who do you rate to win that one? I've got Canelo to beat Billy Joe Saunders on points, and Billy to stay out of range and just get on his bike. Mm. That's what I've got. Billy can take a shot. I've got Billy to lose on points, but. And there's people who, who I speak to regularly on WhatsApp. Oh, you can't you can't ask see say you want Billy Joe to beat Canelo. Of course I want him to win. He's a Brit, isn't he? Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah but you you wanted Andy Ruiz to beat Joshua and Povetkin to beat White. Well, yeah. So don't I've like got that one right anyway. Hey? <laughs> I've got that one right. Louise to beat uh, Joshua. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I want Billy to beat him, but I don't think he does. Billy wasn't stopping people at 160 pound. So mm. he's fighting at 168 now, and he's not stopping people at that. Canelo's stopping 175 world champions and taking their power. So he can take Billy's power and he ain't gonna get stopped. So it's gonna go to yeah. points. Billy Billy's Billy's best chance is points. And even if he wins eight rounds, he's not gonna get a decision because he got to knock Canelo out. So the question is, how's Billy Joe Saunders going to knock Canelo out if he can't stop Andy Lee or, Sh or Shefki or whatever? These other people he fought at 168. Can't even mention the name, Shefki or Kuki, or did he stop? He, he was hardly icing these people, wasn't he, at 168? Yeah. So I, I don't see him beating Canelo. I just don't see it. I, I know he's a masterful boxer. I don't see him beating him. I see him. I see this as the holy grail for Billy. And him just doing it to cash out boxing. Yeah, talking about money again, anyway. <laughs> that, that, that's that's, it? that's how it goes. People well, want these fights because of the money, isn't it? I believe so. It is what it is. Well, it's cool. Yeah, but listen, it'll be it'll be it'll be a nice, a lovely upset if he beats him. But that, you know, it'll be, it'll be a rare chance. But uh, who knows in boxing? But you know, um, yeah, I've got the same as what you think about it, but. Um, Listen, he can only try and do his best at the end of the day, isn't it? Do you want a mint, Mickey? <laughs> yeah, go on in, stink fruit. <laughs> no, the point is, Mick, it's called prize fighting. You have to fight for a prize. Mm. So, all right then, Mick. Well, listen, I'm going to get... If it happens. If it happens. Yeah. I've got to go because I'm going to get... I've got Richard Towers coming on in. Good, then, mate. Nice to speak to you. 12 again. minutes. But listen, Mick, it's been a pleasure. Mm. Keep in touch. And uh, we'll speak again next week sometime. All right, mate. You take care. Cheers, mate. Bye. And stay safe. Wear your mask. I will. I had a close friend of mine two days ago. Well, yesterday, to be honest, yeah. In a bad, uh, bad. Well, we thought he would snuffed it. I said, "That new? Is that a new one?" No, I've got that one. I've got the uh, helmet one. Yeah, I've seen that one. Helmet of the month. Yeah. Who was it last month? Uh, I forget now. Oh, Steffi Ball. All right. Eddie, Eddie Hearn and Terry Harper. Oh, three of them. Three of them. Uh, yeah. All in Essex, all with no masks on, all doing selfies in Eddie's garden, you know, like you do. Yeah, yeah. So, in the middle of a pandemic. All right, lad. You'll take, take care, care then, mate. Cheers, mate. All right, right, take care, Russ. Right. Right. Bye.